The founder of UCSB's Global and International Studies Department is weighing in on what's happening on the border of Russia and Ukraine. And as News Channel reporter Tracy Lair tells us, the professor has a way of making the situation sound less complicated. Professor Mark Jurgensmeyer says people who care about freedom should care about what's going on along the Russia-Ukraine border. An assault on freedom anywhere is an assault on freedom everywhere. So we should always be concerned when there's an attempt to try to change the equation and to take over people's rights. The founder of the Orfala Center for Global and International Studies says this isn't just about Vladimir Putin wanting to take parts of the USSR back. It's about money. Ukraine, Ukraine is a very rich country. It has these mineral resources. It has the largest number of rare earth minerals that are useful for making computers. It's a huge coal deposits. So it's not just nostalgia that Putin wants. He wants money. When Putin took in the Winter Olympics opening ceremonies in Beijing, Jurgensmeyer says he had politics on his mind. There have been crickets <laughs> from China's side. It hasn't either condemned what the Russia has done in Ukraine, nor has it condoned it. And since Germany controls the pipeline that's going to be this natural resource for Russia, sanctions among allies can hurt. Russia has a terrible economy. It's lower than, than California. California would be a more powerful economy than Russia. And the only thing they really have going for them is, is oil and, and, and gas. And right now, if, if Germany cuts off the gas pipeline, that would be a huge impact. And if the sanctions affect their sale of oil around the world, that would be another huge impact. The author of the new book, When God Stops Fighting, believes the impact at the pumps is a sanctioned trade-off. In the short run, this may affect our oil prices. Uh, we may have to pay a little bit more at the pump. In the long run, it's worth it because we have to fight for freedom everywhere. The Ukraine wants to be part of the European Union and NATO, something Russia does not want. The professor says this is really a struggle over the future of Europe. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.